And I thought last week's episode was great. What's going on, Game of Thrones fans? This is Mr. Dark Phoenix here with Batman and Spider-Man and my Valyrian steel sword still. Because once you, because you, you can't leave home without it. And my trusty dragon. Yay! You are the real MVP of this episode. This is the first time you're catching my channel. Hit that subscribe button. The finale's next week. And I would hate to have you guys miss out on what a big of an episode that's going to be and all the other videos I put on my channel every week I hate to have you guys miss out so come on hit that subscribe button share it with your friends and all that good stuff and be warned this is going to be a spoiler review so if you haven't seen the episode come back when you have and if you have seen it let's jump right on in to the newest episode of Game of Thrones the dance of dragons can you dance little buddy he's trying he tried the dance. It's okay, buddy. You do what you want to. We're back to Dorne to celebrate. You know, just, we're back to Dorne. I've loved Dorne for the look of it, but I, the Sand Snake scene where they were in the jail cell and they were playing Mercy, they were playing like Slap Mercy, I felt like that was a better scene than their first appearance in their clunky, lazy fight scene, if I have to be honest. Like, I loved it. I love when they were fighting and they were like, oh, you're going to miss, whatever. They're just being sisterly and being rough and being fun. Like, I don't know. To me, that felt like more of what it should have been versus their clunky-ass fight scene. I'm sorry. I I understand what, what that they're trying to make it different, so I hope that they have more stuff next season because I love the, the location of Dorne alone. It's beautiful. I hope, this not this, I hope that this is not the last we've seen of it. And Ariel has to use that axe because I want to see him use it. So that needs to happen ASAP. Arya goes undercover. We discover that he's a sick pedophile. Too old has become a thing on the internet. And that's disgusting. That's enough internet for me for a lifetime. But he's disgusting and Arya needs to murder him. So, I vote for death by, uh, not by Snoo Snoo, she's not tall enough, but I vote for death by poison. Or by stabbing him with the pointy end right in the throat. Elaria behaves, finally. Don't get me wrong now, I understand your, your rage and your vengeance. But Oberyn, I loved him just as much as you did. All of us did. But your plan for vengeance did not work. Especially since he has a plan for Dorne and everybody else. And everything else. I trust Duran Martell. I do, I like him. He's very... He's like, he's like He's got Tywin's genius, but he's still a good person inside. Like Tyrion. So it's like, you get the best of both worlds without, without anything like maddening about him. Or anything douchey about him. Known incest is known. The whole damn kingdom knows that you fuck your sister. And I don't think anyone gives a crap anymore. A hundred years ago, had your name been Targaryen, nobody would have blinked an eye at you. Here in Dorne, nobody cares what you do. I want to live in Dorne, personally. Dorne seems to be that place that has the least drama, the least amount of bull crap that goes on, and they're open about love. Come on. I want to go to Dorne. Let's go. I'm moving to Dorne, especially since other people live there that I really want to get along with. So I'm going to Dorne. You guys can follow with me. Stannis, you son of a bitch. I was really holding out hope that you weren't going to do this. I was just so like, nah, that's it. That's his. And my thing was that's his only heir. Stannis can't do that because if he dies, his name is dead. He's dead and all the Baratheons out there. Because I guess they haven't figured out that black as fuck hair Robert, blonde as hair fuck Cersei comes with blonde as fuck hair kids. No one can put two and two together. People need to learn how to do math. So that's the, that was the last Baratheon. I cannot believe you burned that little girl. I can't. She was the cutest thing ever. And you burned her for the red devil vagina woman. People wonder why I don't like her or trust her. Devil bitch. Nasty with your devil vagina magic. Ha, the harpy invasion. Oh. Jor was a badass, though. I'm giving him that. I, I kind of like this. Like have a, it, it had like a Spartacus feel to it. If they could have like done this longer, they could have actually done a Spartacus kind of thing. Like Daenerys could have found soldiers that way through the fighting pits and been like, yo, you guys are the best I've got, you guys are my soldiers, go fight for me and whatever and all that good stuff. Jorah's forgiven, finally, you're back in the friend zone, but at least you crawled out of the, you know, the shit zone, you know. You crawled out of shit space and now you're in the friend zone, so 
Beggars can't be choosers. It could be worse. But, you know. His Dar's dead. I'm glad, but I don't believe it. Because I thought he was behind the Harpies. So, if he is dead, then my theory goes out the window. Because I don't know nobody else in Marine. So... The butler did it? I don't know. That's a that you know, that's a mystery. Jonice, who is who is who the fuck is in charge of the harpies if it's not his dar? I don't know. You answer that question for me. Or anybody else that's read the books. Drogon saves the day! You magnificent little dragon. You're so adorable when you came in to save everybody. And then when you was like Vla and then you started flying, I was like, Hooray! Although she left them high and dry, so that's kinda fucked up. If you really think about it, but Danny rides a dragon, so now all we have to do is get Jon Snow, Rigel, and then get Tyrion, Viserion, and everyone's good. We're all good. And just one more thing I wanted to point out for you guys, in case you guys know, I've watched this episode at least five or six times. Just same thing with Hard Home. I have watched these two episodes constantly on a loop. Why does Obara Sand have permanent grumpy cat face? That's that's just my tease for it, but. That's one common question of the day. <laughs> Why does Selbara have permanent grumpy cat face? Where would you like to live in Game of Thrones? My vote is for Dorne. And where the hell did Danny go? That's something else. But thank you guys so much. Don't forget the season finale is on Sunday. It should be a really big episode. I'm really hoping for a lot of good things. What are you guys hoping for? I'm hoping for Lady Stoneheart because we need her now more than ever. Honestly, so tell me what you guys think comment down below comment rate and subscribe Don't forget to tell all your awesome friends and always remember Winter is here and that through good times and bad times remember to geek out and enjoy your lives and I'll catch you for the for the finale this Sunday